Now I'm going to show you how to do part two of Why Do Owls Get Invited to Parties, which is a worksheet about rotation. All right, so this is part two. And in part two, we are going to be rotating the image around the origin. So that's the origin. And here's our image. And find the new coordinates below. All right, so it says here we've got the shape with A, B, C, D. The vertices are labeled vertices. And it says rotate 90 degrees clockwise. What are the new coordinates for A prime? Okay, so that means that we're going to rot this, rotate this whole figure 90 degrees clockwise around the origin. And then we will find out what are the new coordinates for A, which we call now we will now call A prime. Okay, so the best way to start out is to draw the figure. And I'm going to label A because we care about where that A ends up. And I'm going to put my pencil down on the point of origin because that's how we're going to what that's what we're going to rotate around. And then I'm going to rotate 90 degrees clockwise. And clockwise is this direction, of course. And we're only going to go 90 degrees, so only a quarter turn. So this will probably end up right here in the next quadrant. All right, so I'm going to look for a line. This time I'm looking for this one. This one is going side to side right now, and I'm going to turn 90 degrees. So when it gets to straight up and down, I'll know that I've gone 90 degrees. Okay, so I'm putting my pencil on the origin, and I'm starting to rotate. And I rotate until that little line is now going up and down. And I can see that I have rotated 90 degrees. Okay, and A ended up there. So I'm going to gently peel this back and make a mark and say that is A prime. So now I know where A prime is. And it says, what are the new coordinates? So now I just need to find what the coordinates are for A prime. So the X coordinate is negative one. And then the Y is going to be positive, because I have to go up. One, two, three, four. The Y is a positive four. So the X is a negative one. The Y is a positive four. All right, so let's see. Here's another 90 degree clockwise. Here's, that's for B. Here's a 90 degree counterclockwise, that's for C. And let's do a 180 rotation. Um, so 180 degrees, what are the new coordinates for D prime? Okay, well I can use my same um, drawing. This time I'll just draw D. Okay, and I know I'm going to go 180 degrees. So I'll do one quarter turn and then I'll do one more quarter turn. And once my um, rectangles lines have lined up with the grid again, I know that I've gone 180. And as we can see, these are opposite each other, which is the way it should be when you turn 180 degrees. And D has ended up up here. So I'm going to make a little point there and label that D prime. And so now I just need to find what the coordinates are. So the X coordinate is one, two, three, four. And the Y coordinate is one, two, three, four, five. So those coordinates will be a positive four for the X and a positive five for the y. Okay, so then when I have these coordinates, I try to match them up down here. So here, the a matches up with negative one, four, which is right here. So the a goes in here, 
And down here, this T matches up with 4, 5, which is way over here, so I'll put a T in here. So you need to finish all the rest of these to be able to fill in this to check your answers. But of course, write your coordinates for each one. And of course, up here, you're going to be writing what the rotation was.